In this video, we're going to look at integration by parts. Integration by parts is a rearranged version of the product rule that we use for differentiation. It's given to us in the formula book. So if we look in the formula book, we should be able to find this. And it says the integral of u times dv dx with respect to x is equal to uv minus the integral of v du dx with respect to x. So we've got two things multiplied together in the question, and we're going to pick one to be u and one to be dv dx. We're going to pick the u that we want to differentiate and the v or dv dx that we want to integrate. So we're going to pick u as 2x and dv dx as sine x. The reason we're doing it that way around is because if we differentiate u, if we differentiate 2x, it gets simpler. If we differentiate 2x, so du dx is just 2. So that will make our second integration over here a lot easier. And we're going to integrate sine x. So if we integrate sine x, we go to negative cos x, negative cos x. So these are all the parts that go in to the formula. So the integral is, so the integral is uv, so u times v, negative 2x cos x, minus the integral of v du dx. So v du dx, these two times together. So negative 2 cos x with respect to x. Now we need to integrate the second part. So if we integrate cos x, we go to sine x. So that will give us minus 2x cos x minus, and then we've got, well, minus 2 sine x, and plus c. So simplifying, we can say we've got negative 2x cos x, plus 2 sine x, plus c. Okay, here's another question. The only way we can integrate ln x is by using integration by parts. So what we need to do, you can see we've only got one term here, one function. We're going to have to change it to 1 times ln x. So we've got another function. And do we want to differentiate or integrate ln x? We don't know how to integrate it, so we want to differentiate it. So we're going to say that ln x, that's going to be u, and 1 will be dv dx. So if dv dx is 1, we're going to integrate it to get v, which is x. And if u is equal to ln x, the u dx is 1 over x. So let's plug our parts into the formula. So u times v, x ln x, x ln x, minus the integral of v, so x times the u dx, 1 over x. Well, that's 1. x times 1 over x is 1 with respect to x. So we'll integrate the second part here, so x ln x minus x. So one different one integrated is x and plus c. So that's how we integrate ln x. So in some cases, we have to actually do integration by parts more than once. So here we've got x squared times e to the power of x. 
I'm going to pick u, the one I'm going to differentiate, to be x squared, and dv dx, the one I'm going to integrate, to be e to the power of x. So I will simplify um, my u by differentiating it, but I'm going to have to differentiate it twice to get rid of the x. If I differentiate it once, it'll be 2x. I'm going to have to differentiate it twice. So I'm actually going to have to do this whole process twice. So let's follow this through. So u is x squared. du dx is 2x. If dv dx is ex, v is e to the power of x as well. So what have we got? We've got u times v which is x squared e x minus the integral of v d u dx, which is 2x e to the power of x. So the only way I can integrate the second part here is by doing integration by parts. So we're going to say u is 2x and dv dx is e to the power of x, which makes du dx 2, so I finally simplified it to get rid of it, and v is e to the power of x. So we have, we've still got x squared e to the power of x, minus, and then our new one, our new integration by part, so uv, 2x e to the power of x minus the integral of v du dx, which is 2e to the power of x with respect to x. So we will integrate that. So if I integrate 2e to the power of x, I get 2e to the power of x plus c. So if I just get rid of these brackets, I have x squared e to the power of x minus 2x e to the power of x plus 2e to the power of x plus c. Okay, here are some questions. Pause the video, give them a go, and then press play when you're ready to go through the answers. Okay, so the first one. So whenever I've got ln x, I need to differentiate that because I don't know how to integrate it. So ln x is going to be my u. So u is going to be ln x. And dv dx is going to be 2x. So I'm going to integrate 2x. I'm going to integrate that. So v is going to be x squared. And I'm going to differentiate ln x to get du dx, which will be 1 over x. So then I just substitute in to the formula uv. So x squared ln x minus the integral of v times du dx. So x squared times 1 over x. So this is x with respect to x. So that's x squared ln x minus x squared over 2 plus c. Okay, now I've got x times e to the power of x. So I want to differentiate x this time. So u is going to be x, which makes du dx 1. And dv dx is going to be e to the power of x, which makes v also e to the power of x. So substituting them in, u times v, x e x, 
minus the integral of v times du dx. So e to the power of x with respect to x. So that is e x times e to the power of x minus e to the power of x plus c. And then we've got the x squared one now, so the complicated one. So if I move down this. So we're going to have u as 5x squared. But we know to simplify it, to get rid of the x term, we're going to have to do it twice. So u is 5x squared, which makes du dx 10x and dv dx is cos 2x so if we integrate cos we get sine so v is sine 2x but divide by the bracket differentiated so half sine 2x so substituting these in u times v is 5 over 2x squared sine 2x minus the integral of v du dx. So 5x sine 2x with respect to x. We can't integrate this unless we do another integration by parts. So this time we're going to say that u is 5x which makes du dx 5 and dv dx is sine 2x and if we integrate sine we get negative cos so v is negative cos 2x divide by the bracket differentiated so negative half cos 2x. Substituting them in, so u times v, so that's negative 5, actually we'll write, we'll write what we've got here first, so we'll, we'll keep the 5 over 2x squared sine 2x minus, but then we'll put a bracket. So we've got u times v, so negative 5 over 2x cos 2x minus the integral of v du dx. So these two multiplied together, which is negative 5 over 2 cos 2x with respect to x. So cos integrated goes to sine. So I'll write this bit out first. We're going to have to be careful when we get rid of our bracket at the end because of the negative signs. So cos integrates to give sine. So that's going to be negative 5 over 2 sine 2x divide by the bracket differentiated so that's going to be over 2 so I should have put 5 over 4 I can change that in a minute so if I get rid of the brackets now which I've made a bit of a mess of I'll keep this bracket to start with and deal with this bracket. So we've got minus, minus, so I'm going to change that to plus 5 over 4 sine 2x. Now we'll get rid of the other bracket. So we've got 5 over 2x squared sine 2x plus 5 over 2x cos 2x minus 5 over 4 sine 2x and don't forget to plus the C. And there is our answer.